Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is what's going on in California and Nevada. Um, they are telling the residents to take shelter and stay off the roads. Uh, California authorities have shut down 100 miles of Interstate 80. That happened on Friday as the biggest snowstorm of the season bore down in the Sierra Nevada. Residents were urged to take shelter, stay off the roads, as they prepare for one up to 10 feet of snow in some areas and damaging winds of up to 145 miles an hour. That's insane. I don't even think we've ever seen that with hurricane season. Yeah. And the California Highway Patrol, they posted on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, uh, saying that the closure was due to spin outs, high winds, and low visibility. No estimated time of reopening the freeway. So even as of today, nothing is open. So this is another reason why we prep, man. Okay. So just, I, I, I just hope and pray that you guys that live out there are okay. Okay. Reach out to me if you can. Okay. And just, just let me know. All right. Please just let me know that you're all right. Okay. Um, authorities closed down the interstate in both directions after 5 PM on a day when the majority of more than a dozen ski resorts around Lake Tahoe were closed down and a tornado touched down as well in central California and visitors in the Yosemite National Park, they were told, you got to get out, you got to leave. And the 100-mile closure occurred at the state border just west of uh, Reno, Nevada, to near Emigrant, and that's E-M-I-G-R-A-N-T Gap in California. Now, California Highway Patrol, state transportation authorities, and other authorities, they reported throughout the day that troopers and others were responding to dozens of collisions on I-80. Cars were sliding into snow banks. They were getting stuck on the side of the slick roadways. There were no immediate reports of any serious injuries, but if there is low visibility and these cars are getting stuck in snow banks or they're sliding, Who's to say that there's going to be anybody to get out there to rescue them? Got to be careful, man. This is why we have our bug out bags in our, in our cars, right? This is why we have get home bags, right? Even satellite phones, because who's to say that the towers are still up and running, right? So a tornado touched down on Friday afternoon in Madera, and that's M-A-D-E-R-A -E County, just before 4 p.m., and it caused damage to an elementary school. And the National Weather Service in Reno said late on Friday it expected the heaviest snow to arrive just after midnight, continuing with blizzard conditions, blowing snow throughout Saturday that could reduce visibility to a quarter of a mile or less. My gosh. And the storm began. You know what this reminds me of? Um, that blizzard, Yuri, right, in Texas. Is that his, did I say that correctly, Yuri? This is what this is reminding me of. So the storm began barreling into the region on Thursday with the biggest effects expected to close major highways, trigger power outages. And I just, oh God, I hope these guys are okay. Please check in with me, okay? Uh, a blizzard warning running until today in the morning covers 300 miles of stretch up into the mountains. Meteorologists are predicting as much as 10 feet of snow, it's possible, in the mountains around Lake Tahoe, with three to six feet in the communities on the lake shores, and more than a foot possible in the valleys in the Sierra's eastern front. This is including in Reno. Now, winds are expected to gust in excess of 115 miles an hour over the Sierra Ridge tops and 70 miles an hour in lower elevations. Backcountry avalanche warnings were in place in various areas. 
all visitors at Yosemite were supposed to be out of the park as of noon Friday, with the park closed at least until noon today. More than seven feet of snow was expected to fall in some areas. Now, many Lake Tahoe ski resorts said that they were staying closed due to the atrocious conditions. But the snow wasn't all the bad news for the resorts. Palisades Tahoe Ski Resort said that the big dump expected over the weekend on top of eight feet of snow in February should allow them to keep the slopes open until Memorial Day. In South Lake Tahoe, the lunchtime crowd at a place called Heidi's Pancake House was a third of the typical 60 diners, even with the worsening of forecasts. General manager uh, expected to stay open and most of his employees to show up. Now on the bright side of things, California water officials said that the storm should also provide a much needed boost to the Sierra snowpack, which is vital to the state's water supplies. So that's a good thing. It stood at 80% of average to date on Thursday and California Department of Water Resources said. So that's a, good, that's a silver lining, it really truly is, but I hope you guys are prepared out there, okay? And like I said, please reach out to me, all right? But this is why we prepare, okay? You just, it doesn't matter where you live, all right? California, does, well, I would have never thought that you guys, or even Nevada would have never thought that you guys would get snow. Well, I do remember, what was it? Was it last year or the year before you guys got snow? But not to this extent, 10 feet of snow? That's absurd. But I do remember hearing, I think it was, was it 1976 or 1978, here in Tampa, there was a very bad blizzard. And uh, I wasn't living here. I was, you know, <laughs> what, two years old in 1978. <laughs> but still... You know, I I heard about, you know, all of the um, all the commotion and the chaos and stuff like that. But like here in the Tampa Bay area, it does get cold enough to where we get flurries because we live on what's called the frost line. Um, but other than that, we don't I don't think I we've never seen like snow per se but we have seen flurries and like frost on the ground, you know, like, you know, generally in the morning where you have, have dew on, on your grass, it would be white because of the, the frost and the, and the cold and stuff like that. But other than that, I've never once seen snow here in Tampa. Um, I haven't actually seen snow since we were in Tennessee three years ago. Well, uh, no, four years ago, four years ago, yeah, when Andrew was just going into the Marines. Yeah, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been that long. Holy smokes, four years ago. He's been in the Marines for four years. Wow, where has the time gone? <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, all right. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fear less. Ciao.